Weda, in eastern Indonesia, is a party town. When I was there in January 2012, the town was celebrating the birthday of the PDIP, which is the district head, the Bupati's political party. Everyone was out showing their support for the Bupati, most of them wearing t-shirts that he doled out. The local paramilitary thugs, the Bupati's medical center, the local transgender contingent, there they all are at the PDIP party. That little guy slapping high fives, that's the Bupati himself, the man behind the series of parties that ran from Friday until Monday. On Friday and Saturday, he'd hosted several thousand guests at the wedding of his twin daughters, whose courtship was part of the decor. I only caught the wreckage of those parties, sadly, but noticed that there had been quite a bit of self-promotion there, too. Later, locals protested that he'd subsidized the wedding parties from their local cultural budget. I also found the local police rehearsing for the following day's party, the last in the series, which was to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Weda's status as a district capital. Once the VIPs and the newlyweds in their matching costumes were sitting comfortably, the police performed their Chakalele war dance and did quite a bit of solemn strutting about as well. Then there were more spookier dancers. As Indonesia decentralizes, it's kind of interesting the way local communities are rediscovering and sometimes even inventing whole new cultural traditions to justify their status as a political entity. Finally, the Bupati himself arrived in a modern version of a Korakora Kora war canoe carried by the long-suffering police. Then the less traditional part of the show took over, with sequined cheerleaders and even bony air. This is a civil ceremony paid out of the public purse, of course. Um, it's not a campaign event. But still, the master of ceremonies asked for the Bupati to share some words of wisdom. By evening, four days of political partying was over, and the real fun had only just begun.